Jesse, if I were to ask you what's the one thing your Mandalorian cosplay has been missing, what would that be? Jetpack. And what did you just buy for yourself? A jetpack. We're going to review it right now here on Beyond the Blast Wars. Thanks for checking out this edition of Cosplay Cantina. Basically, it's a sideshow we do here on the channel whenever Jesse decides to buy himself new cosplay pieces. And that is definitely the case today. We are yeah. checking out an Imperial Commando jetpack or... A Sabine-style jetpack. That is... I love that reference to Sabine. And you bought this from who? Uh, Iron Hammer Props. You can find them on Etsy. And he has the pieces assembled. And so what we want to do is... I'm going to move my mug because I want the focus to be these pieces. Uh, basically, he just unboxed these pieces. And it looks like they're 3D printed. These are 3D printed. Um, um, most commonplace is a ABS plastic filament. Uh, 3D printing, if you don't know, it's basically kind of like a layering process. Um, really neat. Um, these are getting more affordable, so a lot, a lot of prop uh, makers are getting their hands on these, and they're figuring out how they work. And the end result is you end up with seeing these really nice detailed pieces that are really lightweight. Uh, really don't have a blue f blueprint or a schematic <laughs> for this thing. Okay. Um, it's very clear how, the, like, when assembling this, how this is all going to fit together. When I kind of have it, this is kind of a soft kind of assembly and okay. everything uh extremely lightweight which is a major plus you know considering you know how much i'm already carrying around um i'm not concerned too much about assembly personally or painting it and making it look great it's actually getting it attached to me okay so like when you have but, this thing assembled it's not gonna be like an orange piece a blue piece and oh no piece. oh no uh this what i gotta do to this is i gotta do a lot of spot putty work um to kind of clean this up because you can actually see the lines on here um from the 3D printer, you know, mm -hmm. and everything. So sanding, spot puttying, once that's done, I can paint it up, some of it. I can actually probably assemble what I consider the main body uh, fairly quickly. These two pieces are actually um, what deals with uh, connect, you know, attaching this to my back plate, my okay. armored back plate. Yeah. As you can see, this is these are two pieces. They are hollow. There's a small notch right through here that mm -hmm. this... Uh, this main hub that I'm going to call it. Uh, this actually has a, a piece that sticks under there. I got to kind of hold off on dealing with these because I may have to cut holes on here um, to figure out, you know, attachment, mm -hmm. you know, issues. So that's going to be like the biggest troubleshooting thing. What's your timetable for assembling this? Like, is this like a thing you can do in a weekend? Does this take like a month to do? Um, I mean, in general, I always recommend giving yourself plenty of time. Um, general, Roughly what we're, where we're sitting, we have two months uh, before celebration. I'd like to have this done by celebration. Again, I'm not concerned about the painting process or sanding or anything like that. It is strictly troubleshooting, uh, getting it attached and secured to my, my, my armor mm -hmm. and everything. Um, this was kind of like a bargain deal. I, I picked this up. You know, They had a sale, 100 bucks plus shipping. Um, that and everybody rocks, you know, the Django Fett, you know, <laughs> and jet packs uh, or Boba Fett's jet packs. I know that those get heavy um, depending on how they're made. Uh, this seemed like a lighter weight option. I would I would guess two, three pounds total. Which is awesome. Um, if you even cosplay, pick one of these up, you can just kind of tell. You're going to be in cosplay for maybe eight hours a day when you go and rock this. So like it's so yeah. critical that it is so lightweight and you can take it exactly. off with these as well. And I have some really cool ideas too. Um, this is where cosplaying gets fun because um, there's a remote control LED candle set uh, at work. And I think if I buy one and break it and take the basically the electronics, this is hollow. This is the thruster port. I'm thinking I can potentially put the LED and the electronics inside here and then via remote kind of give this kind of a glowing effect, uh, you know, throughout the day. You know, it may, it may not be going all day. The battery could die on it, but I don't know. Why not? It's a lot of fun, <laughs> and I love hearing you talk about the cosplay stuff because, one, I know it's your passion. Two, it's great because right now we're just seeing these multicolor pieces and it's like how the heck is this going to be a jetpack but um through creativity through hard work like this is going to become a masterpiece yeah i mean this is printed in the multicolor uh, filaments uh just to kind of help with assembly give you an idea like Makes you sense. Know, this is this is the left uh fuel tank right fuel tank 
bottom part of the thruster, top mm-hmm. part. Um, it, it, it helps in, in assembly and everything. Um, and uh, you did a lot of research. You were trying to find the best option for you. So this came down to cost, weight. This was cost efficient for assembly. me. Um, I mean, you can get... Uh, Anovos has a jetpack kit coming out. The only day, they look great, but I have heard that Anovos takes forever to get you your product. Um, in general, I mean, this was a little bit iron hammers, still a little bit new and everything. But again, that's me browsing through the Mandalorian Merc uh, forums, the 501st, trying to see who's bought one of these, how well they like it. Uh, in general, the reviews are pretty good. So, so what's your next step here? Uh, it sounds like you need to do some sanding. Yeah. You need um, to do some painting. Mm-hmm. When, uh, how, how soon do you think that you're going to be able to do that? Um, cause we, we want to know when the next thing yeah. happen is basically what we're getting at. Yeah. Basically I plan this upcoming weekend. I plan on doing sanding and spot filling on mm-hmm. um, what that's going to do. That's going to remove, uh, the 3d printing lines. Um, I do have to be careful that because there are actual detail lines that I don't want to cover up, especially if you look here, um, this is, this part attaches into the side as it is right now. They actually don't fit into the grooves. So I need to, I don't want to sand it too much to where it's yeah. potentially too loose. And it's kind of a little at a time, uh, effort. Uh, once I get that figured out, this is actually, it does open on the side. So, uh, well, tops and bottoms here. Okay. I call this the main hub because everything connects into this. Um, so you can kind of, I don't know how well this is showing, but maybe if I can get the angles, but both sides, this is where the fuel tanks attach. And then you've got this large spot here. Uh, so when I go to assemble this uh, and everything, um, the, th- the thruster will be the last thing to be the go in uh, and everything, uh, because I want to make sure that these, because these are the largest, largest pieces and the heaviest. Mm-hmm. I want to make sure that these are nice and secure in here and that I'm not going to have a malfunction like Boba or Django on the con floor that would be catastrophic so once i get that figured out i can essentially assemble the main body of the entire thing right um and then kind of save the what the back plate pieces to last right um so it's a process uh first step spot filling spot filling and sanding get that done everything goes together then i can I can, I can actually paint the main, get started on painting the main body right? Uh, and everything. Um, well, once awesome. I decide, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to keep these to where they're secure together, but if I need to, they still come apart. Duct so tape. I'm, not duct tape. <laughs> duct tape, I, despite common belief, <laughs> duct tape does not always work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm trying to keep, uh, figure out how to keep this uh, as something that uh, potentially can still open up in case I need to, make to, need to make repairs or decide to go with a different uh, attachment process. Awesome. Well, that was a so, great breakdown. Yeah. So as we go back to the full shot here, you can see how the jetpack, it, you can see how this is going to look when it's finished. Obviously, like Jesse said, going to sand it, got to paint it, but it's going to be an awesome piece. So one more time, uh, who made it and what's it called? Iron Hammer Props makes this. This is the Imperial Super Commando style jetpack or a Sabine style jetpack. And it seems like Jesse made the right decision. So excited to see how this unfolds. We'll try and have an update video in the next couple of weeks. Let us know what you think about Jesse's next cosplay project. Let us know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching Beyond the Blast Doors. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Beyond the Blast Doors, a Star Wars conversation.